So coming into Haverford as a first year, I really didn't think I liked research, and that's just because in my high school I really wasn't as exposed to research as I would have liked, so I didn't really have a lot of background experience. The reason that I chose Haverford was because of the research. I would say like 95% of the reason that I chose Haverford. So the Haverford experience about you know, seniors doing a senior research project. One drew me here as a scholar, but I also think is really powerful for the student. You know, so many students choose to start their research like freshman, sophomore year, which is sort of unheard of for a lot of other schools where you're not really getting to start research until, you know, grad school or even later. You actually get to do the science and you get to interact with professors on a one-on-one -on -one level. Uh, so I actually started out in the Wayland lab when I was a freshman. So starting uh, sophomore year, I got more and more uh, responsibilities with taking care of our phytoplankton library, all the cultures, and then now as a senior doing senior thesis with Kristen. So it's kind of been like a, like a long road in, uh, in the Wayland lab, yeah. Having someone come to you and at that first year and he told me we had a conversation, he's like, I want to be a medical doctor and these are the reasons why and, and going, okay, let's get there. Let's, you and I, that's the goal and how can I help you throughout these four years? I know for me, um, doing research as an undergraduate and leading a, a project of my own was the most impactful experience of why I became a professor. Like your project is your own. Um, you're finding out things for the first time and that's really exciting, especially for someone as young as I am. It's about also developing their independence and giving them the tools and the techniques and, and providing them with the okay courage, you know, it's okay that, you know, we don't know the answer here, but we're, we're doing something for the first time and this is really exciting. Especially now as a, as a senior thesis member in Kristen's lab, that independence kind of just shows whenever there is some type of issue with our experiment, she first kind of wants to hear our ideas on what is going on and uh, some ways to fix it. And in that way, it kind of pushes us to really think really deeply about what we're doing and what might be going wrong. She'll answer the questions and kind of like make sure that my anxieties are answered almost, and then make sure that I have space to kind of like do whatever that I need to do, make mistakes, it's fine. No one is expected to get anything right on the first try. Science is messy. It's not clear cut. You can have sort of a, a beautiful outline for what you want to do as your research project, but you're going to encounter problems. If not every step of the way, most steps of the way, sort of the more you butt your head up against the wall trying to solve a problem, the better you get at problem solving. And it's going to slow things down, but that's just part of the process. Failure is a part of science, right? Um, I had a mentor say to me, if you're not failing, it means you're not trying. The ability to do independent research, I think, gives students that agency to be like, it's okay, I can make mistakes, but I learn from those mistakes, but at the end of the day, I did this, I developed this, working one-on-one -on -one with a mentor. I think a lot of students in, in maybe some labs, you know, it's cookbook, right? You put A and B together, you mix it together and get product C, great. Research experiments are kind of planned out for you, like you know where you're going, you have a protocol that you're given, versus what we're doing, which is creating our own protocols, like based off of other literature, and seeing how that whole process takes place um, is pretty cool. But that, at the same time, that's kind of scary because there's not like anything you can turn to like in the literature to uh, explain some of the results that you might get. And so that is exciting to me. Anything the student does is new and novel and no one has seen it before. And then in the spring, those students will have a department-wide symposium and those students will be giving a poster presentation about their exciting results that they have found. So I think that Haverford experience and doing the senior research project, especially in biology and that one-on-one -on -one mentoring really helps students develop themselves as, as scientists and they can go off and feel confident in their skills once they graduate.